All right, let's start with some big political developments that are taking place in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu, where after months of speculation and suspense, Indian superstar Rajni Kant has finally broken his silence. Now, Rajni Kant has confirmed that he will be taking the political plunge. Speaking at an event in Chennai, the star said that he will be floating a new party ahead of the next assembly elections and will contest across all constituencies in Tamil Nadu. Now, speaking about the current state of affairs in politics in Tamil Nadu, the star has called for a complete change in the democratic system within the state and has urged for a more honest and transparent system to emerge out of this churn. Now, he's also added that he wants to bring a change in the system from the bottom. Truth, work and growth. This, he said, is his mantra for his political foray into politics. So that was him saying that he accepts the political challenge and he will be challenging the establishment as it exists in the state of Tamil Nadu. Now, Rajni Kant has also appealed to his fans to not enter into any political stint until he floats his party and also has called them out to assist him in forming the structure and cadre of his party. Now, right after the big announcement, the Talaiva fans began celebrating in the city of Chennai. And also his long-time friend and rival in the cinema industry, Kamal Hassan, has congratulated Rajini Kant on Twitter for his big move. He's tweeted, and I quote, I congratulate my brother Rajini for his social consciousness and his political entry. Welcome, welcome, unquote. This is what Kamal Hassan has in fact tweeted on Rajini Kant's announcement. And also Vyond's correspondent Nishchita Virendra is presently in Chennai and is tracking all the developments for us and has sent us this report. Well, the frenzy is at its very peak outside the Raghavendra Mantapa right here in Kudumbakam in Chennai as Rajnikant has made the big announcement that he will be entering into politics in view of his uh, dilly dallying in the last few months. He has dropped many, many hints that he is ready for politics and this time it seems like he is no longer doubting his intentions. He's ready to get into politics and as he said, he owes to the people of Tamil Nadu, he owes it to his fans, nearly 50,000 fan clubs of Rajnikan across the state of Tamil Nadu and these are the crowds really outside uh, the Mandapa where he made the big announcement and he's expected to float his own party. He has said that he will contest the upcoming, the next assembly elections in the state of Tamil Nadu, uh, whether he will join hands with any of uh, uh, the uh, parties here in the state like AIA, TMK or the DMK seems unlikely. He's already received uh, an invitation from the BJP, whether he will honor that invitation is something that we have to wait and see, but certainly a big day in the state of Tamil Nadu. In Chennai with Vinay Jalla Shekhar, Mr. Da Vion. So Rajini Kant is not the only actor in the state of Tamil Nadu who has stepped into the political battlefield. Another very popular South Indian actor, Kamal Hassan, has also made his intentions to foray into politics. Now, despite formally announcing his decision to enter into the political arena, Kamal Hassan is making no big political announcements and is keeping his fans on the tenterhooks. Now, on the 1st of September, earlier in the year, Kamal Hassan met the Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan to discuss the political scene in the South Indian state, amongst other matters. A few days later, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal met with Kamal Hassan and invited him to join politics to fight corruption and communalism in the country. Now, on the 7th of November, Kamal Hassan also launched a whistleblower's mobile app to aid any individual who intends to expose corruption, which largely came across as the first step that Kamal Hassan wanted to make ahead of his official plunge into his into politics